Here's what's on the menu for today. Oh, and welcome to Delala's Everyday Soul. I want to have today. She got on my nerves so bad. When you, you know, so it's this kind of thing like the platter I'm going to post later for you that I did yesterday. Oh, you're going to post it? No, you're <laughs> going to post it. <laughs> When I tell you it was so good, I thought I was going to kill myself. <laughs> Welcome to Delilah's Everyday Soul. Um, I am Delana, and this is my mother, Delilah. Welcome, YouTube family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are preparing something very special. I didn't tell her yes. yes. And mom, so I know, hey, Tiff, so I it's know that I... Out the yes, okay, I'm back. I just had to make sure that bacon was out the oven because it was going to be... She like, asked me to do up. something. I but did it. I don't trust her. That's the problem. And I didn't want to burn it. And I need the fat You know I'm it. never going to burn the bacon. Okay. I don't need them right now. Okay, so my mom is making cabbage for sure. But, then but guess I'm what else it. she's making? And I didn't want to put it in the thing because <laughs> I think I am... I don't know if I'm interested You're in going to be very surprised. Or... I was going to say disgusted, not disgusted, but disgusted, not disgusted, but How I think I'm, okay. okay. You saw that not only well, it wait, so wait. on her show, okay, uh, so then when Bobby Flay was doing it and this chef was doing it, then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, oh, well, maybe you're no, right. No, I didn't say maybe you're right. You I never said that. Stay I never up with said the that. trend, girlfriend. Right. So it must <laughs> Get definitely with the trend. No. So it must definitely be a trend. It must definitely be a trend. That has come back around. We are cooking rabbit today. We're cooking rabbit. So, rabbit actually is as popular. I don't know how I feel about is it. Is as popular <laughs> in Europe as chicken is in the USA oh. of America. Okay. Okay. Let's get with it. Oh, so, the you all like rabbit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, hey, Brian. Ha, ha, ha. So, Delena, oh, that's your lack of knowledge I, in this little subject. I guess so. And rabbit is tender, it's sweet meat. Um, is it gamey? No, it's not what you think like eating squirrel or raccoon mm. or a possum. None of that. It's very much like chicken. Okay. Very much like chicken. In Europe, it is eaten like we eat chicken here, to okay. be honest with you. Okay. So, here we go. So, I'm going to really season this up more than how I would just do my buttermilk and hot sauce. Again, it's crystal hot sauce. You've seen me do this a million times. So, I did not want to repeat myself in showing you that little process, okay? Mm. But, I have here oregano. I'm going to marinate this in the oregano, thyme and tarragon. So tarragon is tarragon and fennel are often used in rabbit stews. So it gives off that licorice kind of taste to it. So I'm going to put all of that in my marinade. The parsley is being kept to finish at the end. My um, leeks, which is in the, uh, the onion family, I will pair it with these are yellow onions, and I used yellow onions as opposed to using the Spanish onion, which is a little sweeter. Yellow onions are stronger, and, and I want the true onion flavor to get into it, so I'm complementing that with the leeks. And then, of course, our flour, salt, pepper, granulated garlic. I will put a little from over here, and our granulated or onion powder. Okay. All right, and again, so, my spices and seasonings, I never add salt. Salt I add because that way I can control the sodium. Okay, so here we go. So people we, are saying they like rabbit stew, they like braised rabbit. Uh -huh. Salt even says uh -huh. I love she you. Would, um, 
um, <laughs> her kids didn't even know she would serve it to them all the time. There they you go. It up. There you go. Now the difference is rabbit uh, was nine ninety nine a pound, mm -hmm. whereas chicken was about five dollars a pound, <laughs> right? Four dollars a pound. Yeah. So there is the difference there. So I just put in our tarragon, our oregano, our thyme. I'm going to put some salt in my marinade. And I'm putting everything in the marinade as opposed to seasoning the rabbit. I have soaked the rabbit. A little bit of Dijon is going to go in. This is something I don't usually put in my fried chicken. All right. And onion powder. So you soak the rabbit. So out. I soak the rabbit in cold salt water and just like I would do any other poultry. It looks like chicken. It looks but, like chicken, but it doesn't have the skin. They skin the rabbit. Yeah, because it didn't even have all the fur. Mm -hmm. So I, I do have a question. So though. why is the rabbit a ill? I don't know. When chicken, you eat chicken. Yes, and they, they will tell you that a larger rabbit is going to be more tough and a wild rabbit is going to be um, tougher and sh and more strong in flavor. So when you so say eating everything, yes, out. yes, mm. yes. So this would be what are the front legs, okay? So like a wing. Yes, like a wing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this would be what would be the thigh and the leg. They've kind of chopped off. What would be like the drum. But on a rabbit, it's really nothing on that part. So that's kind of why it's cut off. So you bought it. This like is the split. tougher part. So different from a chicken. Oh. So on a chicken, that thigh is very moist. On a rabbit, this is the least moist part. It's it's a really strong muscle. Mm. Okay? It's not um a lot of it's very lean. It's very lean. Yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to mix that together and this is going to be my marinade and again as I said earlier I would let this sit in the rabbit sit in this for a couple of hours just okay. to absorb all of that <laughs> flavor okay all right so I'm so curious about this I don't know why because it just looks like you know, poultry, I guess. But yes. um, so I'm gonna cut that off, put it in, and again, we always cut down to our cutting board, and we keep our fingers out curled and out of the way. So I am cutting this rabbit up, and hopefully, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to learn something. This is going way up into the cavity for this, the joint bone. So is it, um, are you frying this? How are you cooking this? I am going to fry, saute, yes. You know it. Anything yes. fried for the most part is good. So I might be all right. <laughs> oh my God. So it has, oh, this is kind of. Let me see if I can feel. Okay. It is very lean, though. I will say. It is very lean. So this would be the breast. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which has a lot of ribs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So that'll probably be good fried. Yes. I'm going to have to go into my other knife here for this, probably. Let's see. So then you could take like what, like how you would do something else and take like the spine or the backbone and make soup out of it. Make a stew Almost or like a, a soup out of it. Because that and does this look is like a why, neck This is why probably stew is good because see all that meat with no bone or anything in it. And this mm -hmm. is just bone, which would be great uh, in a uh, stew. I might not fry all the pieces. I might keep this and make me a stew for later. Mm, Actually, okay. I think I'm not going to crack it all up. So that's in there. This would just marinate in that mixture. It looks good. It looks real. It smells good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Right. That's her big cast iron pot all right. here today. I'm going to fry that. Cabbage in that. Bacon. 
So this is for the cabbage, the cast iron pot? Yeah. Okay. This is for the cabbage. Okay, I'm going to throw that bacon in there. I've already cooked the bacon down. So what is this you have in the pot, though, Mom? You have it's oil. a little bit of oil, just plain old oil. Okay. But I'm going to put some of this oil because I want That's the good that bacon oil. fat. That's the good oil. So the parchment paper comes in handy again. So I want that bacon fat. All, the All right. And if you're using bacon or fat back or salt pork, you don't need as much salt to mm -hmm. be added because mm -hmm. you got it in that bacon. All right. Cabbage. All I did was took a head of cabbage and shredded it. I like the green leaf, the white, all of that. I've got some orange pepper. It's only, 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 only for color. Don't right. get yourself confused on that. Okay, see what we got going on? You need that, all right? Let me fry up these onions in here. And then I gotta save some of the onions for my, for my uh, rabbit, so. We got that going on, you see that? Going in with our orange sweet peppers. It smells so good. Onions, look, whenever, if you're having oh, company, here she goes. if you're she having company onions. coming to your house, let me tell you, you want them to think you're really burning, tearing it down with something special. Just start frying onions and garlic. They'll walk in like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. <laughs> and you it's haven't awesome. even done anything. So doesn't that look good? It does. So this is what you got, right? This is what you got. So even though it may have looked like I had a lot of oil in there, it doesn't, once you put that cabbage, it's not a lot of oil. So say you're not cooking for a family, you're just cooking for you. Probably you don't need more than a quarter of a head of a small cabbage for yourself. So you don't need anything that's quite this big. You can use a smaller skillet. And I'm tossing and turning this because I want that oil and that bacon to get all over that cabbage. And then I'm gonna cover this and smother it and let it just smother down. So I'm gonna put a little onion powder, okay? So now why would you add onion powder when you have onions? Because it just intensifies the flavor. A little granulated garlic, and I could have used some garlic cloves as well. It does not hurt it. Don't put too much garlic because you don't want it bitter. This is salt. I'm going to put three pinches, kind of heavy. Now I'm going to put in one more. Only because cabbage takes seasoning. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. Have you ever had cabbage to, and it was under seasoned? You mm -hmm. have to season cabbage. So that's another situation. You may not be seasoning the cabbage. Yes. It can handle it. It can handle it. Mm -hmm. Because see, this is this cooking, is it's glossy, it's getting tender, it, it needs to go a little further, it's yeah. not there yet. But see, cabbage holds a lot of water, so mm -hmm. can you see that? Yep. It's going to have its juice in there anyway. Yep. Yeah, Bridget. And you're going to have more flavor by not boiling it. Mm -hmm. Boiling is just going, mm -hmm. you know, you got to add more because you got water involved. So that's good, that's good. So here's our flour, and I am going to season my flour. So now I have a question, Mom, mm -hmm. while you're doing that. Little Himalayan salt, gray, granulated onion, little garlic, and some black pepper. So you turned on the skillet for the... Um, to For my, put the, the rabbit in, yeah. to fry it up in. Um, but what sh I want you to tell them, because I'm just going to pan over to the pan real quick. 
So it's on, it's on a pretty high heat, but mm -hmm. you don't have anything in the no, pan. No, I want the pan to get hot. Mm -hmm. So I just got a taste. So this is my taste <laughs> to make sure I've got enough seasoning. Nope, I'm happy. So if you notice when my mom fried chicken, she did the same. You have to taste I'm happy. it. So you I taste it. my food. So this is not a deep fry, but I'm going to pan fry it. Very different from deep frying where it's immersed and it's going to fall in. I'm pan frying this. The rabbit pieces work big. Mm -hmm. So because they're not large, you don't need a whole lot of oil unless you're deep frying them. Then you put a lot of oil, but that's not what we're doing here. Okay? Oh, that looks good. It does. Looks very good. That smells so smells good. Smells good, too. Yep. And this is the whole dad on mess. I'm doing a little setup. We're going to go from the marinade to the flour to the pot. Okay? Just to keep that a mess. Keep things nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm Delilah. sorry. I didn't mean to do that. She's showing you all bad habits. I didn't mean to do that. It slipped out of my hand. Mm -hmm. We just want to lay it. Thank you. <laughs> they are farm raising rabbits, so you know, you're not really out there hunting little Peter Cotton Jail and taking them out of. It's just like raising chickens. Right. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Look at that cabbage. That cabbage it's, looks great. That cabbage looks beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Still got color of green. It has not turned to brown. You don't want it to lose all color. You've taken it too far if you have. Trusty, you know, I'm gonna pull it out. Mm -hmm. Make a display here. Voila, there you go. So should I taste it while we're on? Oh, Why don't just... you? Look at that steam coming off that cabbage. Does the camera pick that up or it doesn't? Wow. Right, we get a little bit of cabbage. Wow. So do I need a fork or I'm just like... Bite into it. Oh, like it is tender. Of, I'll tell you, it is. Uh, I told you. Let me fix she her plate. always questions me. <laughs> the cabbage is good. Her face really is good. turning red. <laughs> All right, so now. I'm... Yeah. I thought <laughs> you went back in for no, the second it's, it's, spin. It's good. It's actually. Really good, actually. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. You want a knife? Maybe. Mm. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. He's trying to talk like me. Mm. Go, Delana. <laughs> Go, Delana. <laughs> Go, Delana. No, it's really good. It's really, really good. It is. Quite honestly, it's like a better form of chicken. Uh -oh. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. Yay for Peter Cottontail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. If you're in Atlanta, stay dry. And we will see you Tuesday at 7 p.m. Oh, it is raining. It's raining. All right. See you. Thank <laughs> you, everyone, down. for the stars that gave us stars. Bye. Have see a good ya. weekend. See you Tuesday. No golf for me today. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, right there. Go ahead and subscribe and be sure to tell a friend. See you next time.